Hello, I'm Russell Bateman. Uh, this is Colette's Kitchen, and today I'm going to be cooking a dish of agno squab pigeon. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do for this dish is break down the agno pigeon. First thing to do, remove the head, remove the legs. Just take your knife and cut as close to the leg as you possibly can. And we're going to cut out the oyster. So we're going to take the wings off, so we're just going to score, scrape along the bone, and at the knuckle, chop down, and pull it off. Score along the neck and remove that. Scrape up either side, tuck your knife behind the wishbone and then just use your thumb and forefinger to pull the wishbone up. Score, cut through and crack the breastplate and then that exposes all of the offal inside. So we pull the heart out and then we pull the livers out. And now our pigeon's nearly ready for cooking, all we're going to do is blowtorch it. You can see the, uh, the pigeon start to talk and that's ready for roasting now. To remove the thigh bone, take the tip of the knife and just gently scrape along Run your knife along either side of the bone until you expose the knuckle and then straight through the knuckle. Wooden kebab sticks that I've soaked in some warm water for about an hour. Feed our skewer all the way through, following with the heart next and then finishing with the smaller liver. We've got some beautiful English peas. Just crack the pod and just pop them out. You can see they're huge, lovely peas, banging season now. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is prepare our grill onions. What we're going to do is take the outer layer off in case there's any dirt or any muck under there. You can see there's a really thin membrane on that onion. You want to remove that. And then we're going to just trim our grill up about, about here, just so we've got a nice clean onion. And now what we're going to do is prepare our summer rhubarb. So you can see the rhubarb maybe isn't as red as you might expect. This is actually the summer rhubarb which grows naturally during the summer months. So basically from the base, we're just going to cut nice thin slices. We've got some frozen peas, may seem strange, but to keep the sweetness, to lock in the sweetness, lock in the freshness and lock in the colour. And we're going to use the, the juice from these peas to cook our fresh peas. So there's maximum flavour. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cook the pigeon now. First of all, of course, we've got to season it, really important. Quite generous with salt and a really good crack of black pepper. We're going to colour all over the skin, all sides from all angles. Then we go with our thyme and our bay leaf and our butter. And then we're just going to fill the bird with the basting fat. So we're cooking from the inside out and in the oven we go. So what we've got now is the pigeon legs. These have been in the duck fat for now for an hour. So we take it out and then we pour the excess butter from the middle into that bird. So now what we're going to do is simply blanch our grill our onions, give them about a minute take them out, let them cool naturally. We're going to do the second part of the grilled onion cooking and that's dipping the, the, the root, the stalks into the fryer. We hit them straight away with a little bit of salt. What we're going to do now is cook our summer rhubarb and we've got a 3-2-1 liquor, one part honey, two parts red wine vinegar, three parts rhubarb juice. We're going to bring that to the boil and make an emulsion using butter. We're going to drop some pistachio nuts and our summer rhubarb's going in there. And we're just going to allow the residual heat of that pan to finish cooking that rhubarb. So now we're going to cook the uh, English peas. We're going to start them in a little bit of butter, just soft butter. Get that heat into the pan, add the peas. Just cover the bottom of the pan with the peas. Just have a little taste. Now I'm going to add my pea juice. We get our butter foaming, kebab into our pan. And then we're going to give that a good rest on our cooling rack before we serve. Okay, and we're going to take down the middle and then run along the breastplate, taking the breast off. Trim any excess skin which hasn't been crisped up. Okay, so this is the Anjou squad pigeon with the new seasoning English peas, grill onions, and summer rhubarb. 